Whew. As I look at the bottom of this menu, it says 2010. That was actually the very first video I have ever uploaded on YouTube when I was messing around in middle school and high school. Maybe one of these days I will resurface my old YouTube channels to embarrass myself. But for now, I just wanna say thank you for welcoming me back with open arms because it has been some time since I recorded a video, but man, let's get straight back to it. I'm excited to get back in the grind of YouTube, so let's go. Oh, they used tear gas. Never left me. The door will not hold them forever. We do not have much time within this shrine to the hypocritical decadence of our Kutus leaders. Place the key to step eight. Freedom. So in my last video, I also had an issue with textures. My textures were all jacked up, and I had someone comment saying that, yo, bro, texture should not be that way. So I did find a way to fix it, so the game should be back to the quality that it should be. I just thought the game looked bad because it was from 2010, but I, was, I did not realize it looked that bad, or it was not supposed to look that bad. Okay, these motorcycles are very difficult to drive. I kind of wish that this sequence was the third person. But that's all right. Oh! That was way too close. I love the Terminator reload that we got going on. Oh! Oh yeah, this game looks so much better now that I fixed that texture issue. All right, let's get close. There we go. <laughs> this gun shoots so fast. There we go. Oh my god, we got the entire army after us. I do love that our little truck can just take unlimited shots and we're melting people and all vehicle types with like 10 bullets. <laughs> but we're just absorbing everything. <laughs> I love it. Jump, Mason, jump. Oh, that is a way too far of a jump. There's no way. We just jumped like 20 feet. Your turn. Come on. Oh, he's not making it, is he? We just went through so much. And I won't break now. The government wanted Dragovich. They wanted you to kill him. Yeah. And there were others. Oh, others I was supposed to kill. Who? Who, Mason? Redirect Mason Alex to the Pentagon. 1700 hours, November 10th, 1963. I honestly completely forgot the story of Black Ops. You were cleared for duty and summoned to the Pentagon. Jason Hudson was my new hand. This is it. Why the Pentagon? Hudson couldn't tell me. He didn't have clearance. Your convoy's ready, sir. Welcome to the Pentagon. We're late. 
Yeah, I believe I only played through this game maybe one time, then the rest was all multiplayer. Secretary McNamara? Your reputation precedes you, sir. Step on it. And of course, a little bit Nothing of zombies. Less than our national security is at stake. He has no fear, no conscience, no weakness. This is Nikita Dragovich. I believe you two have already met. When do I kill him? We're lucky to have you back, Mason. VIP. He's here. I felt like everyone was watching us. And watching me. I think you couldn't trust anyone. Sometimes even yourself. That's why we're here, Mason. To see the finest people in the world, you. right here. 24-7. It never ends. We were watching you the whole time. It's not possible. I was in the Pentagon. Please tell him we're here. At once, sir. Clearance Prospero. <laughs> Distinguished heroes. I kept hearing numbers. Distinguished I couldn't get them out of my head. Ariel. I wonder what the layout of the Pentagon in the game is based off of. Did the creators just make this up? I feel like they got to. They had to have. He's waiting. For something gnawing at me. There's no way they're just going to give the layout of the Pentagon for the world to see. I that civilization has been saved more than once in this room. I don't know. It's, it's felt like I was in a dream. Step two. I sinned from darkness. Fire. You were getting close to your objective. It was working. <laughs> it never gets old. Overwhelming, isn't it? Not yet. Even though I'm playing the game, it feels really weird to be in this room. Sycorax. This inner sanctum was built in 1943. We rarely use it. It's like I'm experiencing all of our government secrets. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Good luck, Mason. Mr. President? Agent Mason. Oh, that's Kennedy. That's so cool. Sit. We are in grave danger from the communists. Our freedom, our very way of life is at risk. Dragovich. Wait. I'm told that you are the very best that we have. Anywhere. You will need to be. Mr. Mason. Take care of it. Executive order, Operation Flashpoint. Rip out the heart of their space program. Eradicate their long-range missile project. Take out the Ascension Group. Nazis, scientists, co-opted by the Russians after the war. Yes, he needed their knowledge. What they'd learned. Operation Forty implanted a double agent working with the Ascension Group. Edgar Grohe Weaver. His mission was to sabotage the rocket. There's something went wrong, Mason. I can't get these fucking numbers out of my head.
Man, that is what I do love about Black Ops over the Modern Warfare 2 series. Or not Modern Warfare 2, but just Modern Warfare in general. So this is November 17th, 1963. I feel like this storyline is a little more complicated because it's not just good versus evil. Like Modern Warfare was. This, it's good versus evil on top of government conspiracies. A lot of back... Stabbing. I mean, obviously, Shepard from the Modern Warfare series, but it just seems like that's Let's go. so Take much more in Black Ops. There's so many different strings attached to different people. Let's get come back. Go, X-ray. So use one launch. Is and you have Ice Cube. We're on our way. Over. <laughs> so how, how do you beat Ice Cube? Run out of time, Mason. Let's go. Oh, man, look at the MP5 ammo we have. We have 900 bullets. We are about to wreak havoc. This was one of my primary guns on multiplayer. It was so good. Search and destroy with the red dot and silencer. Extended mag. No, no, no. Something's wrong. It's way too much activity. Yankee 1-3, report. Yankee 1-3, report. It has gone dark. Here, see what's out there. All right, what do we got? Countdown. That is a big missile. Soyuz two, scheduled to launch ten minutes after Soyuz one. Comms building. Mason, we get activity on the road. Check it out. Damn, it's Weaver. He's burnt. Your colleague is unwilling to explain his presence in this facility. Who the fuck is this? Surrender now, and you will be allowed to leave. It's Krevchenko. Dragovich is second in command. This is your only warning. There's nothing we can do, Mason. Weaver's done, but no. Your choice. This is not good. Ooh. Whiskey, are you in position? Roger, X-Ray. Whiskey's covering the road. Weaver's been compromised. Expect the base to be an elevated alert. Hold your position. We are inbound. Roger. All right. Let's go. All right, time to rock and roll. Man, I will say I miss the multiplayer so much. I feel like guns now... Guns now have so much customization that it almost makes it kind of difficult and I don't know there's just something about having the amount of options and the way that they upgrade that you have to upgrade guns nowadays in the recent Call of Duties it's just it's too much I love the simplicity Follow from me, the older games You know, back in the day, you didn't, you didn't have to watch a TikTok video to understand how to put a gun together. Before it was silencer, extended mag, a couple different sights, grip. That was really about it. Oh, right in the back of the head. Nice. Let's get him out of sight. All right, I got him. Why do I have to pick my guy up and you're dragging yours? Was saving Weaver more important to you than your objective to kill Dragovich? Weaver was Russian. He was alright. Hope your time for Kuda helps your Russian, Mason. Oh, fucking better. We gotta save Weaver. Hold your fire, or to disguise. Hey, что это за шоу? Да, Ладно, будьте на чеку. Если чертовы псы будут брехать, пристрелите их. Да, да. We're good. Brooks and Bowman should be right up ahead. 
hostiles in sight, taking them out. Hustle up. Go. The only thing I briefly remember about this Black Ops story is Woods coming down in the helicopter with Fortunate Son playing in the background. <laughs> Such a badass Team moment. We'll make a new opportunity. All right, let's move. All right, which one of us four has the best Russian? Because. We're gonna need it to get through here. Two <laughs> But I do feel like they can tell by the accent. I mean, it's really hard to completely fake an accent whenever you're talking to people that are native in that language. All right. Should we be running around? Okay, moment, Brooks. Get him out of the way. We're making ourselves way too obvious here. Honest problem. Some noise. You ready? There is no way that was Ice Cube's voice. Yep, move him that way. Clear his floor before we move up. I'll shut down the camera. Am I shooting? Okay, we're going. Just wanted to be sure. Let's go. Thank you, Woods. I couldn't tell which one was which. It took a minute for Woods' name to come up. They are ready for us. I kind of want to try the pistol. There we go. Ooh, I'm a little rusty. There we go. One thing I've noticed about these older Call of Duties also, or at least Black Ops so far, is that the guns really don't have that much recoil. Some of the more recent Modern Warfares, if you don't have any attachments on your gun and you're trying to use that, man, it fly, you know, the bullets fly all over the place. There we go. Yeah, let's push him right down. Ooh. Would that really kill someone, though? It didn't seem like it was that far of a drop, but I guess if you land on your back. X-ray, come in. Over. Go ahead, Bowman. Just got a visual on Weaver. He's been taken to a bunker south of the comms building. Mason! Mason, get over here. Crosswell, explosive bolts, now. I'll cover the ladder. Enemy moving in from the north. Oh, Man the down. freaking explosive crossbow. Man, this brings back some memories of gun game. This was such a fun gun to use. The only bad thing about it is it shot and reloaded very slowly. But what was fun was kind of predicting when someone was going to walk around the corner and shoot it at the floor. And that way, as soon as they came across, came around the corner, dead. There we go. There we go. I think we only have these three left. Two. <laughs> you can see the blood splatter from up here. Okay, got it. Make it quick, Mason. Uh, hold shift key. Got it. Let's go. Go, go, go! Oh, such a! I love the slow motion scenes in Call of Duty. You always feel so cool in the moment. Is he dead? Clear right. Clear okay, right. no, he's alive. Cool. <laughs> I was like, did I shoot him? That's a lot of blood, though. Let's do it. I don't know how you're walking. Did you sabotage the guidance system? I was compromised. Yes, we proved being subtle. Move to Plan B. There may still be time to abort the launch. We need to get to the auxiliary control bunker. You saved his life. Now you had to locate the ascension group and kill the scientists. No, I had to kill. 
Dragovich. We've made. Who's the Balakavas? Mason, who on me? Wrap your ass! We got a fight on our hands! We're going to pull off some little run and gun moves. Ooh, I almost fell off that. There we go. Okay, let's go. God, I love the MP5 so much. Dolphin dive. <laughs> I hope that comes back. I'm pretty sure they showcased in the trailer of Dolphin Diving coming back. It was so goofy, but so fun to do. Okay, can't go that way. Running through, come on. Man, the gunplay still feels so good. Here we go. <laughs> Jump around those corners. Okay, is that it? Are we here? Mason, blow on that fucking wall. Got it. Set. All right, let's get a little bit away from this wall before we detonate. There we go. We have to destroy the rocket, no matter what. It's too late. I can't stop it. Oh no, that's not good. Plan B, Bowman. Set it up. This will do it. Wait. Oh, that's very convenient for that to be right there. Got it. Oh, that's such a cool visual. Fucking A. Man, that looks good. Now that the textures are not dog water the graphics in this game for being 14 years old almost 14 years old i will say they look still pretty freaking good the rest of the ascension group will be trying to escape the facility Oh, yeah, let's take this shoddy. I'm gonna run through people with this thing. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Just plowing people down. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we still have plenty of ammo for this thing. Remember, swapping to your secondary is always faster than reloading. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, yeah, let's just swap to the MP5. There we go. I think I want to keep my setup that I have. Ooh, get out of the room, please. There we go. Whoa. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. Come on. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, 
I'm trying. I mean, I. I know the scientists are bad, but I'm trying not to shoot the scientists. Or the engineers, whatever these guys are. Mission control. There we go. There we go. Ooh. I'm about to die. We load. Man, there's a lot of them in here. I'm just going to kind of let them come to me. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Bye-bye. Did that even reach him? I don't think it did. <laughs> what was this guy doing? Can I jump in there? Oh, no. There we go. Thank you for helping me with that one. What are you guys doing over there? I think Woods wants me dead. Tell me, got the hell out of here. Not yet. We're going after Dragovich. We're losing them again. Woods wants me dead. Kovchenko escaped before we could get to him. You were getting close. Dragovich was there, wasn't he? We searched the whole base. We couldn't find the bastard this anywhere. This is a waste of time. He's delusional. And then we ran into Dragovich's limo. I had him. Satisfied, Mason. No. no, not yet. Not until I see the body. Dragovich, did you confirm the kill? Trust me. That rat bass is a fucking charcoal briquette. Eleven twenty four one seven nineteen twenty ten fourteen two three. He became your obsession. You spent the next five years trying to track him down. He was, he, he was, he was everywhere. I just couldn't get him out of my head. He's just like the others. So much shit he doesn't even know what he's saying. Just always in my head. No, I want to keep pressing you. Hey, who are you people? What do you want from me? We want the numbers, Mason. That's all we've ever wanted. The freaking numbers. Take us back again, Mason. After Baikonur, where did Washington send you next? Vietnam. Fucking Quezon. This was in 1968. Yeah, I was part of the SOG unit led by Frank Woods. It was recon on covert Russian activity in Laos. What about your CIA handler, Hudson? Was he in Quezon? Do you remember him there? Hudson? <laughs> and Mr. Shades. The guy was an ice cube. SOG team to investigate evidence of Soviet involvement in Vietnam. Agents Mason and Hudson are already on the ground. January 21st, 9 a.m., 1968. Oh, yes, this is the moment, baby. This really showcases just Woods as the ultimate badass. I mean, look at that intro. Man! To raise the flag, we're red and blue. Mason, Woods, you look like hammered shit. I'm so tough for shit, Joe. It's not, baby. It's good to see you. Me too. Jason Hudson, CIA. Thank you for your time, Sergeant. Okay. I've already briefed Mason broadly about the situation. Let me fill in the blanks for you. Back in 64, the CIA gave up control of covert operations in Southeast Asia and it over to the U.S. military. From that, Mac and Saab is born. Now, aside from being a base for the Marine Corps, Kaysan is our launching point for all cross-border activities, mostly Laos and Cambodia. Missions are S&D, sabotage, black propaganda, strategic recon, POW rescue. Shit. 
Oh, that's not good. Oh, my, taking out our own guys. All right, come on, Woods, get up. Ooh, he is so pale. He looks like he's on the verge of death. Get him to the bunker. I'll cover. Go. All right, come on, Hudson. Let's go. Hudson was down in case I was in the sea. But like with Weaver, you risked your life to save him. Hudson was a fucking nice cube. That's what I like the best. Your mission priority is to get to Boy City, but you all stay behind to defend case off. That wasn't your objective. You obviously didn't know this. We knew Kason needed our help. There's no decision to make. Okay. All right, we got the M16. Oh, wait. Yeah. I got you. Don't worry. Oh, he died anyways. Okay, never mind. Oh, there are so many enemies. All right, let's just start taking them out, I guess, huh? Honestly, man, I know the, the veterans of Vietnam got a lot of shit coming home, but I don't think people understood just what they went through. Okay, I thought the, that was a grenade launcher. I mean, after watching plenty of documentaries and movies based on real events, man, I mean, just imagine you and nine other Marines holding off hundreds of enemies during the day and the night. Come on. There we go. Oh, <laughs> goodbye. Uh, I, I just feel like those, those veterans in particular really got the short end of the stick, man. Oh, okay. I'm about to die. What? Where did this thing come from? We just had a light machine gun that we just so have. Oh, wait. These are my guys. My bad. Woods, get out of the way. Good. You guys, it's like we're just walking through people here. Please tell me that's our chopper. Okay, yep, I take it it is. I'm going, I'm going, give me a break. Detonator. Oh, it's too early. They were right here, though. They were right on top of us. I guess I gotta wait for Woods' command. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, now. There we go. And still some broke through. Alright, let's back up a little bit here. I don't think, I mean, we're not going to have enough ammo. It's, they're just endless. Where did that grenade come from? And we are about to be killed again. Oh, nice. Okay, take out these tanks. Can I go three for three? Nice, there's one. Let's get this one. There we go. Okay, one more. 
There we go. Okay, I think this is where we need to be going. I did leave my M16 back there. A little more ammo here. <laughs> My kneecaps were snapped in half. That was a lot of damage to take for kind of a short drop. Ooh, I slightly remember this section right here being very, very difficult, especially on veteran. That's a little bit too close. There we go. So is our objective really just to push the enemy back right here? But I feel like this is just kind of endless. They just keep coming. Do these barrels? Okay, no, these barrels do not explode. Got it. There we go. I mean, I'm just. Wait, I thought I blew these guys up. Okay, there we go. I think we're good over there. Okay, maybe not. Man, I'm getting pummeled. There we go. Let's take all these guys out before we get any further. It's almost like I have to take guys out and then just immediately run out there. Because they just keep spawning back in. Like, this part right here kind of makes me wish that Call of Duty had some sort of enemy kill counter where it tells you at the end of the campaign or at the end of each mission how many enemies you killed. Because these sequences right here, man, so many. All right, let's reload. You ready to go? Okay, let's move. Yeah, just get shot up immediately. Go. I can't shake him. What do they want us to do here? Okay, let's go, 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 go. Oh, I'm in such a bad spot. I'm in between them now. Okay, there we go. I did switch. Yep, we're dead. We're done. We're done. We're done. I'm getting destroyed. Yeah, there's no way. Man, there... <laughs> how do we do this? There's so many. Ooh, okay, so this is, I mean, this is where we... we got a little bit further this time. Let's keep it going. Right, I'm going to loop around here. Here we go. Ooh, man, it's so hard to tell the difference because the enemy is running literally on top of our guys. So it's hard to tell, especially at a distance. Did I shoot his arm off? Now that's Call of Duty for you. Okay, 
Man, obviously Call of Duty is not the most realistic showcase of what war was, but man, it's just, it's brutal. Arms and limbs flying off. People just dying all around you. Especially in World War II in Vietnam, man. Such massive casualties in such short periods of time. Got it. I think we can start to move up here. Oh my, I, I can't even tell where I'm getting shot from. I kind of want to poke up here and shoot this guy in here. There we go. Got him. Whew. Did we do it? Oh no, his gun jammed. Don't tell me. Don't you dare tell me Woods dies right here. Oh, we're going to save him. Gotcha. Double tap, baby. Why are we... Okay, there we go. I was going to say, why are we moving slow? I, I really don't want this. There we go. This place is an absolute disaster. Use this launcher right next to me. There we go. Got it. I think that was the only one. Oh, there's six tanks. Okay, hold up a minute. Well, I guess maybe there's just one for right now. No, oh, I see another one coming up. There we go. There we go. Roger, X ray. Targeting sector. Oh, these things move so fast, even without a boost. There we go. Uh, so there's still three left, but I don't see the other three anywhere. Okay, I see one on the horizon over there to the right. Okay, two left. One left. I don't see the last one. Wait, how did that not count? Uh, where's the sixth one? I literally don't see the next one. Is it over here? No, okay, that's too far. Oh, here it is. Okay, cool. How <laughs> did that get me closer to it? Alright, that's all the tanks. Are we good? Whew. That was an intense... Mission. Bowman. You hit it, you no like fortunate one. Shit, Mason. Damn, we'll do that to you. Good to see you, Alex. Good Jason to see you, Ice Cube. We're here to talk about your encounter with Russians in Laos. We got word a defector might be in play. 